Marmalade to fetch balls, but all she does is run off with them. I don't know where she goes, but when she comes back, the balls are gone. Huh? There you are. Where have you been? This is our last ball. Cinepup knows how to fetch. Maybe if she showed Marmalade how. That's a great idea, Cherry. Worth a try. Cinepop! Wanna play fetch the ball? Huh? Fetch the ball? Go get it, girl! Good, Good catch! Uh, 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 uh. Hey! Marmalade! That isn't polite! Marmalade? Where did you go? Marmalade! Oh, what has gotten into that puppy? Where does she go? You know, Strawberry helped me teach Cinepup how to fetch. Maybe if you asked her, she could help you with Marmalade. I'll take her to see Strawberry. Soon as she comes back, that is. Marmalade! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Come on, you. We're going to visit Strawberry. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I love you, too. Come on. Want to see Strawberry? <gasps> Let's go see Strawberry. Enjoy the eye mask, and uh, I'm gonna add some extra special berry conditioning, a uh, conditioner, to your new hairdo. Uh, sure. Okay, Lemon. Now, Plum, just lie back and enjoy that eye mask. <laughs> uh, it feels like 
you're rinsing me, not putting in conditioner. Well, it works best wet, you know. But why did you just dry our hair then? Um, relaxation? Let's just use the uh, handheld dryer this time, okay? Is something wrong, Lemon? No! Why do you ask? <laughs> what you're doing to fix things, but could we have just a minute of quiet so we can figure out what we're going to do with the rest of the day? Oh, uh, sure. No problem. You got it. I vote we... 
Wait around in Soundproof Blueberry's bookstore and... Might not be practical. Ride our scooters to Barry Biddydale and back? And, uh, back again? We need juice power for that, too. I vote we spend the entire day bored. No! Okay, bored and frustrated. No! I mean, this is a great opportunity. For what? Something new. Something exciting. Fun, different. Like... like... Hmm. Our own sporting event. What kind of sporting oh. event? Well, I don't know. How about a relay race? Our own Berry Bitty Relay Race. Huh. Uh huh. Interesting. And why Bitty? Why not go for Berry Berry Big? A relay race on land, on water, and in the sky. Yeah! We'll have teams. We'll start at the lake with a sailboat race. Yeah! And then you pass the baton to the next team. Uh, uh... <gasps> a steeplechase on frogs! Yeah! Fun! Great! Wow! Sounds wonderful! And then they pass the baton to the third team. A sky race! Flying on birds! Yeah! Yeah! Oh, I like that. Strawberry no, sound I like that. All in favor? Aye! <laughs> <laughs> well then, I guess it's unanimous. Come on, let's go. I oh, can't wow. wait! <laughs> this is gonna be fun! Come on, let's go! Huh? Hey, where do you think you're going? To watch the sporting event of the year? Where else? Do you want to miss it? No, but... Oh, we can't. We got a job to do. Oh, uh, just for a little while. Uh, if the boss saw us leave, we'd be in trouble. But if he didn't see us leave... Keep at it. We have to find that block. Careful, Earl! There he is! Quick, before he sees us! All right, Cherry is racing for Team 1. And Plum for Team 2. Okay, you zigzag through those buoys to the other side of the lake. Then turn around, and it's a straight shot back to the dock. Good luck! <laughs> You're gonna do it! We'll be cheering for ya! <laughs> Think win! On your mark, get set. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Marmalade, no! That's not a toy. I'm so sorry. I'm trying to teach her. <laughs> That's okay. Ready? On your mark, get set, go! <laughs> see where we're going. <sighs> Look down, Earl. What do you see? My feet. And what else? Your feet. Ugh. What else, Earl? Rocks? Right! Rocks! When we get to the lake, we'll look down and see lake! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
good. The frogs are that way. <laughs> this I can't wait to see. <laughs> oh, we missed the boat race. Come on, we'll take a shortcut. But I can't see them. Huh? I can see them. How close are they? You don't want to know, Earl. But this turned out to be a, a bigger job than we thought. Oh, yeah, um, uh, really big. But we'll have everything up and running by morning. Guaranteed. No problem. If it isn't finished, I'm sure we'll find a way to entertain ourselves. <laughs> you guys are right. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. right. Well, I'm tired. How about you guys? Ooh, I'm not here for bed. bed. Oh, can't wait. wait for tomorrow. Marmalade? Ooh, doggone it! Where'd that puppy go? Sweet 
treats. Got a cucumber cooler, yam surprise, cantaloupe chips, side of slaw, two sides of slaw, and one chopped celery cup. Anytime you're ready, Strawberry. What are you guys doing? A music track for Strawberry's birthday video. I'm putting it together like a birthday memory album so Strawberry can post it on our very best bits page. Huh. Want to try one more before lunch? <laughs> if we can do the narration without giggling this time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Every time I see that scene of me with the feathers... <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Serious? <laughs> Serious. <sighs> Let's roll one. Strawberry Shortcake Birthday Memories video, take three. Rolling! Really, I thought it would be just like any other day. Because I'd forgotten what day it was. But I was about to be reminded. began with breakfast in bed. But that was only the start. You see, this is what we do for each other on all our birthdays. We try to give them their perfect day. We have a holiday. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. special day, thanks to some very special friends. But it wasn't over yet. The day ended with a sleepover. <laughs> have a birthday like that. <sighs> Mine are never fun. How come? Gotta share them with my sister, sweet. Just once I wish I could have a birthday all my own. But I guess that's never, ever, never gonna happen. Uh, how come? Oh, <laughs> yeah, cause she's your twin. Her birthday's always gonna be your birthday too. Wow, looks good. Thanks, Sour. Oh, and please thank Sweet, too. <laughs> but it wasn't over yet. The day ended with a sleepover. Oh, that's so cute. Here comes the part where Strawberry kept which, cracking up. <laughs> which turned into <laughs> a pillow fight. <laughs> Oh, hi, Sour. Hi. I would have cleaned all this up. It was my day. It was our day. It was the very best of days. And there. Saved into Strawberry's birthday memory album. Aw, Apple, that is so sweet. Sour, you gotta see. Seen it. That was an incredible birthday you guys gave Strawberry. We try to make everyone's birthday wishes come true. And I happen to know two birthdays that are coming up. 
Oh, wow! You mean ours? Thanks again for lunch, Sour. Uh. You just talk to your sister when she... Um, feels like talking again. Figure out what you'd like to do for the day and send out invitations. We'll take care of the rest. Really? I bet Sour would like to go trail riding. It's her favorite. Or I wonder if she'd want... Oh, I already know what Sour wants. Oh, you do? What is it? Huh? Oh, she said all she wanted was for once to have a birthday all her own. <gasps> her own? Yeah, huh? When did she say that? Today. She said she's sick and tired of sharing a birthday every year uh, and... Apple, could you help me with this? Yeah, hold on, Strab. Just want it. Ha, ah, there it is. Did she say anything else? Sure. Like, her dream of having her birthday all to herself is never, ever, never, ever, never... Hold on. What was I saying? Um, helping never, me... Never, ever? Yeah. Never, ever, ever gonna happen, because you're like twins. And your birthday will forever be on the same day kind of stuff. <gasps> she seemed kind of sad about it. Oh. What's wrong with her? Um... Oh, Apple, why did you tell her that? What? What Sour said? Cause... Cause she said it. But... She's even sadder than Sour was. Oh no, is it cause I told her what Sour said? But then why didn't she just say it was a secret? Some things aren't meant to be repeated, even if they aren't an official secret. But... but then... How are you supposed to know when it's okay to repeat what you've heard and when it isn't okay? Sometimes that's a tough one to answer. Oh, I don't get it. I mean, I spent the whole month on Very Berry Island and everybody there tells everybody everything. Sour? Can I talk to you about your birthday? You mean our birthday. I have this condition called twin sister, in case you hadn't noticed. Not this year. What do you mean? This year, I'm giving you an early birthday present. Oh, please don't let it be matching jumpsuits again. No, no. My present to you this year is a birthday all your own. Say that again. This year, I'm giving up celebrating my birthday, so you can have the day for yourself. Is this like that time you found 10,001 knock-knock jokes on the berry web and thought they were so funny you read them to me for 11 hours straight? This is no joke. Your party, your presents, your birthday. F uh, f f for real? For real. Important here. Special delivery, birthdays tomorrow, invitations. Uh, gotta go out. Step on it. Here, here. Got him? Great. Wait, stop, stop! You forgot orange! No. My birthday. You're invited. for her birthday? It's gonna be bigger than strawberries. It's going to be the biggest birthday in Berry Bitty City's history. Where's Sweet's name? Hey, Sweet, how come your name's not on here? Not on where? On your birthday invitation? What birthday invitation? Yours. This birthday invitation only has sour on it. 
That's because it's from Sour, not me. That's my present to Sour this year. Her own birthday without me. Oh, let me get you lemonade. Her own day, her own party, her own presents. Can you believe that? What a sweet thing to do. Looks like she's got a really fun day planned for you guys. Well, for you too, right? Not exactly. You mean she... Well, she invited you, right? <sighs> no, she doesn't have to. It's her birthday, and I want her to have it her way. Oh, there I go again. Are you sure that's what you want? Sure. It's my present to my sister. Sweet. I just gotta say, what you're doing has to be the most giving birthday present anyone has ever given. <laughs> Thanks, Strawberry. See you later. Bye. Oh, is that nice or what? I vote what? This is all my fault. If only I hadn't blabbed. But Sweet wants to do it. Sure, but only because I spilled the cheese. Spilled the... Cheese? Yeah, you know, let the cat out of the hat. Do you mean <laughs> let the cat out of the bag? Yeah, yeah. That's what Plum said. And she's right. I guess. Oh, Berry Bummy Bayou, they say let the nuts out of the shell. It's hard to keep these different customs straight. Well, that's all water under the. Bridge. Chimney! Bridge? On Berry Berry Island, they say chimney. It's just an expression. Well, I'm not expressing myself ever again. I get everyone in trouble and make them feel bad. Now, come on. Let's think of something fun, like uh, the, all the things Sour has planned for tomorrow. Let's see the invitation. Uh, what invitation? The one you're <laughs> holding. Um, well, what if I was invited but you weren't? And then I tell you and you find out. <laughs> Busted bumpers. You see what I mean? But I was invited. That's how I know what the item is that you're hiding behind your back. Apple, it's okay to show me. You sure? <gasps> Look at all the fun things we're gonna do. Without sweet, thanks to me. should have all your favorite things and be perfect. Is something wrong, Sour? Uh, no. This is just... Everything is just perfect. Cheese out of the bag. I mean, I spilled the cat. 
Apple, I think it's okay for you to tell me. Ugh, Sour isn't having a good time. The more we do for her, the more unhappy she gets. Something's wrong, but none of us can figure out what. Uh-oh. Sweet made me promise to make Sour's birthday perfect. I'm glad you told me, Apple. Time to call for reinforcements. Phew. Have you ever seen anything so hysterical? <laughs> sweet? Uh, you didn't invite her. I, I meant strawberry. Have you ever seen anything? <sighs> Did I say. <laughs> I meant strawberry. Did I say sweet? <laughs> Boy. Riding's your favorite sport, right? Huh? Oh, yeah. Fun. Whoa. Doesn't look like you're having fun. No, it's been great. I just... <sighs> Something's missing. But I think I know how to fix it. Can you help me with something back at the cafe? Sure. Giddy up. Let's go. Come on, boy. <laughs> Are you going? I'm sorry, sweet. This is awfully awkward. I looked at the time and I, I gotta go change for, you know, Sour's birthday party. Plum, it's okay. Go, go have fun. I'm fine. I'm enjoying myself here. I'm sorry, but I, I have to say it. Say what? Well, I know I shouldn't say it because it's your sister and all, but I... No, I've got to get it off my chest. I mean, what sister doesn't invite a sister to a sister's birthday party on a sister's birthday? It, it's just wrong. That's all. It, it's just... Oh, I don't get it. It's... It's not nice. Plum, I am absolutely fine with it. It was my idea. How often do you get the opportunity to give someone what they truly want for their birthday? And like you said, she's my sister. And her having a perfect birthday means everything to me. <sighs> You're amazing. Being so sweet. I just... You go get changed. I'll finish my kiwi smoothie. Okay, but I still feel bad leaving you here. Sweet! Sweet! Oh, good. Strawberry said you'd probably be here. Hi, Plum. Okay, so here's the deal. Uh... What is it? Apple, what is it? Uh, um, Strawberry told me to tell you something and not to tell you something else. Uh-huh. So? But I'm not so sure which part is which. There's definitely a possibility here that I could spill what? Web. Oh, wreck everything. Is the right which part about... The cafe? Uh, is it about... The next travel report on your Barry webpage? Uh. Well, I don't know. Thought it was worth a guess. Is it about... My sister's birthday? Oh, that's it! That's what I'm supposed to tell you. You, sweet, are cordially invited to Sour's birthday party at the cafe! But I'm not saying anything else. My lips are sunk. I mean, sealed. Not another word. Not a single word. I'm not putting my foot near my mouth ever. Not blabbing anything. Not getting anyone in any trouble, which is why you won't hear a word from me. Not a single word. Oh, hey. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 You guys, what is this? Uh, birthday party decorations? Well, yeah, but they're my favorite color, not Sour's. Ugh, guys! This isn't the music she likes. We gotta change it. Wait, wanna cut the cake? Sour's the birthday girl. She gets to do that. Will you do it, sweet? Oh, Sour, happy birthday. Okay, I'll do it, if you want me to. Uh 
Oh, this is angel food cake. Sour doesn't like this kind of cake. It's my favorite. Because it's your party. I'm giving your birthday back to you. Everybody did wonderful things to make my birthday perfect, but something was missing. It was my sister. <laughs> I guess it wasn't a birthday without you. There's still plenty of birthday left today. Let's share it together. Happy birthday, sweet and sour! Well, what do you think? I think it's amazing! A skirt that's a video screen? Congratulations, Raspberry. What a brilliant invention. Thanks, Strawberry. Apple, can we jump online? Barry in the know is almost over. It's the Fashion Talk webcast we're doing this fashion show for. Oh. Mavis Maraschino here, thanking you for keeping your peepers glued to this episode of Barry in the Know, the Barry Bitty Fashion World's go to show to know what's nouveau, you know? <laughs> Don't forget our technology and fashion contest taking place tomorrow. <gasps> We have some spectacularly intriguing entries coming in from all over the Berry Bitty world. But the entry that's really frilling my frock is from Berry Bitty City and those fabulous fashionistas Lemon Meringue and Ra Ra Raspberry Tort. Don't forget to be ready to text in your votes for your favorite techno fashion. Until then, Mavis Maraschino reminding you to ask yourselves, are you Barry in the know? When the Berry Bitty world sees Strawberry walk down the runway wearing my screen skirt and Lemon's mood nails, we'll absolutely, positively get the most votes! Lemon, your mood nails turn blue. Are you sad? I was just thinking... Raspberry's screen skirt is so outrageously wonderful! I don't know if my mood nails make much of a statement. Well, I think they're great. Thank you, but... Well, you'll barely see them in the webcast. They're not as prominent as, like, a hairstyle or... <gasps> ah! That's it! Forget mood nails. I'll do moody hair. We'll call them moodies! Whoa! Wow! It's kind of last minute. Can you pull that off in time? The contest is tomorrow. I can try. And I always have the mood nails as backup. Well, you better get to it. It's gonna be a long night. <laughs> Here goes nothing. Juice cables. <gasps> it's not alive, is it? No, it's the sparkleberry juice that makes it move that way. And the energy of the emotion of whoever wears it. Behold, moody hair! Hey, Orange, I haven't been to many fashion shows, but aren't you supposed to have a model? What's going on in the dressing room? Sorry, it's taking longer than we thought to reroute all the screen skirt cables. And we haven't even added the moody hair yet. Maybe, maybe I shouldn't try to change tops. Just model one outfit. Can't have a fashion show with only one outfit. We have to find a figure, a, a way. Uh, we gotta model at least four different tops with the screen skirt. But how? Even with both of us helping, she can't change that fast. You're always wanting us to Here be comes exactly peace and harmony. Hi, girls. We would love to watch your fashion show. Is that okay? What? We? You dragged me here. Uh, a little early for Halloween, isn't it? You're very welcome to watch. Excuse us for a second. Psst, I've got an idea. Oh! Why not use the twins as models? That way people will think it's just one model, and you can have one on camera while the other is changing. Might work. But we wanted to feature you in your kitchen, Strawberry. Strawberry would still be in the video clips on the skirt. Good point. Let me ask him. I thought the theme was technology in fashion, not monotony in fashion. I'm sure they're just ironing out some glitches. Ironing? 
Fashion? Clothes? <laughs> Funny, huh? No. Um, excuse me. Sour? Sweet? We have a problem we think that you could help us with. We're wondering if you could take over from me in the fashion show and be our models? <gasps> oh, we're so flattered. Yes. W hold up. Why would anyone want to look at me? Sour, you're gorgeous. Well, of course you would say that. You look just like me. Well, you also have personal flair. I don't. You do. You have more. That's silly. Everyone will be looking at you instead of me. Won't. Well, girls, only one of you will be on stage at a time. We have so much to do by tomorrow. Please, there's no time for arguments. There's always time for arguments. Like jelly beans, you can't have just one. Come on, Sour. It'll be fun. Oh. Okay. Thank you so much for thinking of us, Strawberry. Are you sure this moody hair thing is gonna work? Wow. It really does work. I'm impressed, Lemon. Ugh. Is, um... Something wrong, Sour? Sweet's hair looks better than mine. Oh, I think I get it. Sour's hair is green with envy. <laughs> Trust me, Sour. If both your hairstyles are fabulous, it'll be just as much my reputation as yours. Now remember, girls, the fashion webcast is tonight, so you'll have to keep your moodies on for the rest of the day. Moodies? Oh, that's cute, Lemon. I'll see you at rehearsal in half an hour. We'll be there. What's with you and this we thing? We're twins. Huh, not if I can help it. Hi, Orange. You look nice today. Sweet! <gasps> Sour! So do you! Wow! Are those Lemon's moody hair pieces? She calls them moodies. Aren't they the best? She's so talented. Oh, is that what talent is? Who knew? We need to pick up a few things for the cafe. Happy to help. Uh, then help me understand why there's no whole wheat flour in this whole joint. Oh, uh, uh, I just ran out this morning. Great. Well, I guess we can just forget about baking at the cafe this week. No pancakes, no pies, no muffins, no bread. Sour? Well, let's see. What if we try almond flour or coconut flour? Might be fun to improvise. No waffles, no puff pastries, no cake, and you can kiss cookies goodbye. Do you think this is funny? Ooh, what's this? My sweet sister? Angry? Uh, I'm not angry. Why would you say that? Because your hair is steaming. <gasps> this is so great. Oh, uh, golly. That's probably just static, or I don't know. <laughs> Aw, your hair is blushing. That's awesome! Your hair is doing a joy dance. You must be very happy. Happy? I am not. Uh, I was just seeing what the hair is doing, and Lemon told me these do's don't lie. But I've never told a lie in my life. That's just so... Wrong. As if. Gee, don't get your hair to tangle. Good move, Orange. I'm so glad those things are locked in there. Did I or didn't I? Did you or didn't you what? Close the back window this morning? <gasps> I didn't. Raspberry, are you here? Runaway hair extensions? With attitudes. Those twins 
are never on time. Hello? Oh, hi, Strawberry. You're where? They what? <laughs> Are they wearing hats from my new puppy fashions? No one's supposed to see those until I release my spring line. <sighs> Did you have to make them so... so... moody? I didn't realize how much out-of-control emotion those twins had roaring around inside them. Must have blown their circuits. Oh, Yoo-hoo! Oh, cutie moodies! <laughs> That's right. It's me. Come to Mama. <laughs> we sure love their mama. <gasps> Get them! Over here! Watch out! There's one! Uh, I got one! Oh, no. Hey! Check it! Hair bait! The moose in the world could get those things to behave. Well, I'm not modeling with some wigged out wiglet on my head. Lemon, we'll do anything to help you with the show. Go ahead and make a fool of yourselves in front of all the Berry Bitty world, but you can count me out. Sour? Don't you think you're sounding just a little bit, um. Selfish? Yes. No. Raspberry, you better go ahead without me and just do the show with your skirt. I'm not doing the fashion show without you. We're a team, Lemon. Thanks, Raspberry. Huh. I really thought I had something with my original vision. What was that? A hair cam that displays on Raspberry's skirt. But I couldn't hide the cameras and cables well enough. Cool. You know, I bet you I could hide cameras in these barrettes. You could? And I think... I could make them wireless. No cables to mess with. You could? But now it really is last minute. I don't know if we can do it. I thought I could run the cafe. I failed. I thought I could make moody hair. Failure. Lemon, just do your best. I don't wear glasses. Yes, but it's important that the audience thinks you and Sweet are the same model. That's the problem. I don't want to be the same as her. <sighs> but Sour, you agreed. I didn't. You twisted my arm. Okay, guys, everything's ready with the Berry Web hookup. When this light goes red, the webcams will be live. And you're on. Every berry in the no-fan in the berry bitty world will be streaming your fashion show. Thanks, Apple. Great job. Are you done with me yet? Mm-hmm. And, and yes. Uh-uh-uh. <sighs> Lemon, you're a genius. Sour, you look gorgeous. You're just saying that because now I look like you. Oh, Sour, I'm sorry, but please, can't you try and be a good sport? Hi, Sweet! Whoa, you look terrific! I am not Sweet! Uh, that is, I am not responsible. It's all due to Lemon's genius and yours, Apple. Look at all this. How does this work? This will show what's airing on Barry in the Know, and this shows what our webcams on stage are filming live. Whatever. I mean, amazing. You're so talented. And when the light turns and red... Never mind that. Uh, how is it all... Uh, plugged in? Well, the Sparkleberry Juice power cables are connected Apple? to the... 
Can you help me with this light stand? Sure. Excuse me. Power cable. Power cable. That'll do, Apple. Thanks. Anytime. Ah, it's down. Why is it down? Uh, hmm. I must have crashed the system with those brat cams. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Apple, we're ready to go in ten. Yeah, no worries. Phew! Five minutes to airtime, everybody! Five minutes! Mavis Maraschino here. Hello, fans. Are you Barry in the know? Well, we're about to find out when we begin our first fashion show contest. Merciful Madras, the submission from Barry Betty City is broadcasting early. They weren't supposed to start for another few minutes, but, uh, ooh, it looks like something interesting is going on there. Oh, <laughs> the latex can wait. We take you live to Berry Bitty City. Lemon! Lemon, where are you? Five minutes! We gotta get the barrette cameras in the twins' hair! Uh, I can't find the models! What? They must be over there! Why did you say I twisted your arm? It's so clear now. This was all your planning to get us to look exactly the same. Of all the underhanded... But you know this fashion show wasn't my idea. I don't know that. You actually believe we all plotted behind your back? Anything's possible. It's only for the show anyway. It's not like you have to look like me forever. Hello? We're twins? Places, people! Three minutes to air time! Ah! Oh ah! What is it? They're loose! Who's loose? The... The... Strawberry, you identity saboteur! Helping Sweet eradicate any last bit of individuality I have! She... never... There you are! Quick! We're live in two! More like in one! First in Boysenberries! Get those barrette cams in their hair! They go. Hey, your hair looks better than mine. I'm not setting a foot on that catwalk until I look as good. But your hair looks good too. Does not. Does too. Hey, Apple, is that light supposed to be on? What light? That red one. <gasps> not your fault, Apple. It's mine. What do you mean, Sour? I fooled around with Apple's computer stuff. I was trying to... Well, pull the plug on the whole show. And seeing the playback of how awful I treated my sister, I never knew how... how awful I was. You're leaving? You'll be better off without me. Sweet will stay and help you in the cafe. Don't count on it. Sweet? What are you 
You didn't do anything wrong. You never do. You're my sister. I stick with you no matter what. Oh, sweet. I'm sorry. Everywhere we go, I wear out our welcome. You can't leave! I've been all over, and I promise, this place is the best. You'll see. This is the kind of place where you can wear out your welcome and still be welcome. Because you're loved. That's right. Please don't go. Really? You'll forgive me? Us. Us. We'll both try and get along better. <laughs> of course. <sighs> Here goes. Bouncy Myrtleberries! <laughs> I can't believe this! Mm, that bad, huh? No! No, listen! Congratulations to Berry Bitty City for winning Berry in the Nose Fashion Contest! What? <laughs> How inventive and avant-garde of you to enter a comedy fashion show. <laughs> Your admirer, Mavis Maraschino. We won? <laughs> so, Lemon, I forgot to ask. <laughs> what did you end up doing with those hair thingies? The Moody's? They disappeared. Thank goodness we've seen the last of them. Technology and fashion cooking show video take number... What is it now? 23! Take 23. Hi, everyone. I'm Strawberry Shortcake. Tonight, I'm making Myrtleberry Meringue. It's a great favorite here at Strawberry's Cafe in Berry Bitty City, and it's such a fun recipe. Of course, the most important ingredient is... a big bowl of merry, mirthful, mirthful berries. I mean, Myrtle. Myrtle berries. Oh, sorry. Cut! That's a mirthful mouthful. Take 24. Of course, the most important ingredient is a big bowl of merry, mirthful Myrtle berries. Uh, oh, no! Oh. oh! Cut! I'll tell you one thing, Strawberry. Don't quit your day job. Sour? What? Quiet on the set, please. Oh, sorry. Was I holding you up? Like it makes a difference. They say they're going to play this video on a skirt they're inventing. That's also a video screen. I mean, seriously? <laughs> Sour. Please. Take 25. Of course, the most important ingredient is a big bowl of merry, mirthful oh, myrtleberries. Cut! What? <gasps> One more time. Quiet on the set. Take 26. Of course, the most important ingredient is a big bowl of merry, mirthful myrtle bow. <laughs> oh, not again. Oh, power's been going off all day. We'll never get our video done. What are they doing down at the Berry Works power station? <laughs> Finally, take 27. <sighs> How are you whiz kids gonna enter a technology in fashion contest with no technology? We'll have to continue later, whiz kids. It's getting dark, and I need to take care of deliveries at the marketplace. But first, I'm gonna find out what's going on at the Berry Works. Gimme! Ah! Oh. Somebody cap that cracked crinolator! Bouncing bitterberries! What happened, Barrick and Bruce? Ah, uh, Sparkleberry Strainer popped a grommet. Oh, looks bad. Uh, not as bad as when the peach pit pulverizer exploded. We were up to our pips and pulp for a week. Hey! Move that mango masher! No, not that one! The other one! Eh, don't worry. Barricans are on the job. The power will be up and down tonight, but we'll have it fixed by first thing in the morning. I hope. Come on, Barrykins! This whole place looks like it's too very short of a fruit salad! 
I'd better tell the girls it's a wrap till tomorrow. Oh, uh, Strawberry Shortcake speaking. Hi, Cousin Strawberry. Apple Dumpling? <laughs> I haven't talked to you in forever. How are you? I'm great. Always on the move, you know. Gotta see what's over that next hill, as we real travelers say. Thought I'd call and let you know I was thinking of stopping by for a quick visit. Oh, I'd love to see you. Things are just a little crazy right now. When were you thinking of arriving? I'm guessing in about five, four, three, two, one. Huh? Hi, Strawberry! Apple? Apple, what's going on? Oh, ran into a storm over Cricket Crossroads, and wouldn't you know it, something happened to the power booster. Poor butterflies couldn't slow us down. Are you all right? Sure. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, this was nothing. Did I tell you about the time I climbed Mount Macadamia and discovered it's a volcano? That's right. I saw your post on your Very Best Bits page, but sure you're all right? Well, I had to dodge some lava chunks the size of a house when it erupted, but other than that... Uh, no, I mean the crash. This? Ah, oh, this was no crash. The time I went over Crabapple Falls in a kayak, that was a crash. There I was, down the creek without a paddle, when all of a sudden... Oh, I almost forgot. Tea time. Oh, okay, I'll make us both a cup as soon as we get to town. No, tea time turtle. There he is. He goes everywhere with me. I'm so glad you came to visit. I save every postcard you send me. Everyone's gonna be so excited to meet you. We all follow you on Very Best Bits and love all your pics and posts. Now, I don't want to cause anybody any bother. I just dropped by for a quick visit. I'll be gone before you can say, planes, trains, and airplanes. But you just got here. Oh, well, you know how it is when you're a world traveling adventurer. You have so many pen pals to visit, you can't stay in one place for long. Can you stay just a little while? The Bear Kids will have to fix the bus, and they're all busy now. <gasps> you can stay overnight with me! Well, I guess I could stay just one day. A real bedroom would be nice. I I'm used to sleeping in my tent or the cabin on my little one-girl sailboat. I mean, one-girl and turtle sailboat. Right, tea time? Tea time? <laughs> oh, there you are. Sorry I can't be a better host, but I have to get all that stuff ready for tomorrow's customers. Oh, let me help. I can turn any boring chore into an adventure. Did I tell you about the time I hitched a ride on a cargo ship and helped the crew swab the deck by getting a whale to splash it clean? Oh, yeah. I read about that on your Very Best Bits feed. Didn't the ship kind of get, um, full of water? <laughs> yep. I turned it into the biggest swimming pool ever. Hmm. I, uh, see what you mean. And how did the captain feel about that? You should have seen his face. It was so sweet. I guess nobody had ever done something like that for him. He just sat there and cried. I can imagine. Leave it to me. I've got all kinds of ideas how to get this organized. No, 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 that's okay. I mean, you're my guest. You just get settled upstairs and I'll see you after I'm done working. Well, okay. You sure? Uh, <laughs> very sure. Well, Barrick and Bruce said they'd get it fixed. So I'll be at the cafe first thing in the morning. Thank you, Strawberry. Okay, Lemon. You have a good night, too. <sighs> Apple, it's me. Thought you might want to see my collection of your postcards. Apple? Surprise! <laughs> well, are you ready? <laughs> For what? This. <laughs> the Crystal Crater Caverns that I explored. Isn't it just amazing? Yes, it's amazing that you can do something like this, but do you think we could turn it off so we could get some sleep? Oh, oh sure, no problem. Oops. 
guy. This is dangerous. Ha ha, I said, I embrace danger. I am Apple Dumpling Girl Adventurer. And so, for all my very best bits followers of Apple's amazing adventures, I begin the story. Oh, thanks, Tea Time. I begin the story of my latest adventure, Avalanche Surfing, How I Rode the Wild Snow. <laughs> oh, hi there. Do you like my adventure story? Yeah! <laughs> well, would you like to hear more? Yeah! <laughs> yeah! 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 <laughs> well, there I was. Ooh. High up in the Apricot Alps. Ooh. Snowboarding an avalanche. Ooh. Faster and faster, I raced down the slope. The avalanche was hot on my heels. And then, all of a sudden... Ooh. Wait a minute. Why tell you about it when I can show you? Come on! Okay, once we install this valve, we're back in business. Ready? One, two, three! Yeah! <laughs> Now, let's see if it works. And... Hup. <laughs> well, juice me and call me a smoothie. It works! Widget to ratchet into the berry juice system, and you have a snow making machine. <laughs> oh no! Come on, everybody! Show cooking video take what is it now? 153 Take 153. Now remember, once we've mashed our myrtle berries, we need to blend them for only one minute. If you blend too long, it will foam up and get all over. <sighs> Sorry, I didn't get much sleep last night. Hot! Take 154. Strawberry. Uh, Cat! 155. Remember, we need to blend our Myrtleberry meringue only for a minute. If we blend too long, it'll foam up and get all over everything. I think she's got it. I think this take is going to be the one. Oh. Again. <sighs> That's just wonderful. Great. What else is going to go wrong? Quick, shut it down. Shut it down. What is it? <laughs> 
Another popped grommet? No, this is worse. A blowout in the juice cooler. What could have made that happen? Not what? Who? Strawberry? Apple? Can we talk? I've thought about it, and I think it's best if I just leave. <laughs> Come on, Apple, don't go. Everybody feels bad about what happened, but we can work it out. We're family here. I don't want to leave, but I have places to go, people to see. Gotta find the next big adventure for my very best bits feed. Being a famous traveler is what I do. It's why people like me. Is that why you don't stay with anyone for very long? Oh, Strawberry. I'm not like you and everybody else here. Having something you do that people need. At least stay until the Barricans can fix the bus. Oh, I can fix the bus. Faster than you can say batten down the hatches. It's my fault it crashed in the first place. I got curious how the booster worked and I, uh, tried to improve it. <laughs> I guess I improved it too much. Fixed? How'd you do that? I don't know. I just kind of look at stuff and I see how it works. See you, Strawberry. Well, but... Call, okay? Send me a postcard. I will. Strawberry! <gasps> All right, where is she? That cousin of yours, where'd she go? Oh, what'd she do this time? Do? You're not gonna believe it. I don't know how she could have done such a thing. Ooh, that bad, huh? Bad? No! It's good! It's great! It's brilliant! She fixed the power system! Better than new! She's a genius! Best Sparkleberry Techie in the very bitty world! Where is she? I gotta hire her! This town needs her! It keeps saying she's out of range. What'd she do? Leave town? Apple! 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 Oh, I think we're lost. Huh? Whoa! you to give me and my crew a crash course in fixing stuff. Apple! 
Huh? I want you to tell the kids your adventure stories at story time. We all want you to stay. There's no one aboard? How to do that? Automatic return. A little feature I added tells the butterflies when you don't need the bus anymore. Because you know you're not gonna leave. When you know you found the people you wanna stay with and the place you wanna stay. Welcome home. before the cafe opens. Hmm, guess it's a good morning to clean out the fridge. Oh, that's right. I cleaned it yesterday. <laughs> hmm, clean the oven. Oh, forgot. <laughs> cleaned it the day before. Looks like I'm all out of things to do. Hey, Pupcake. Think we should go strawberry shopping? <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, come back! Cupcake, come back here! Good morning, Strawberry! Good morning, Plum! Good morning, Strawberry! Good morning, Blueberry! Good morning, Strawberry! Hi, Raspberry! That fragrance. Oh, my new lemon hair scent. Like it? Oh, delicious. Great! I have a new strawberry scented shampoo that'd be perfect for you. Stop by later, I'll give you some. Thank you. <laughs> Morning, Orange. Morning, Strawberry. Where are you off to? Soon as I can catch Pupcake to Berry Glen for some strawberries. Need anything while I'm there? Yes. Pick me a few sunflower seeds. You got it. Pop cake. <laughs> there you are. Now please don't budge. I gotta get some sunflower seeds for orange. Shrunk 
the sunflowers. Strawberry Shortcake, you are out early today. What is all this? My latest, greatest invention. A plant food that grows berry betty fruits and vegetables. No more rolling apples all the way into town. Now they're just the right size for us. Mmm, very delicious too. Well, <laughs> thank you. But there's only one problem. <sighs> My berry bitty harvest is a bit more bountiful than I expected. Thank you. We've got to get these to Orange's general store before they spoil. Wait till she sees these. She'll be so excited. I'll help you, Berry Can Bloom. Thimbles, check. Thread, check. Berries and bobbins, buttons and bows. Check and check, check and check. Can I get you anything else? No, thank you, Orange. This is all I need. Alrighty then. And thank you for shopping at Orange's General Store. Where there's a place for everything and a thing for every place. Morning, Orange. Good morning, Verykin Bill. And what can I get for you today? I'll need three bolts, six nails, 12 pails, a bag of rags, a box of socks, and half a dozen wooden blocks. Got it. Oh, what kind of wood? Well, I hadn't really thought much about... I have pine, cherry, oak, mahogany, peach, apple, elm, ash, beech, hickory, ebony, cedar, poplar, maple, spruce, sycamore, teak, rosewood, rubberwood, cottonwood, walnut, and willow. Um... I'm having a special this week on willow. I'll take willow. Good choice. And will there be anything else? Got any sunflower seeds? Ooh, all out. But a fresh shipment is coming in today. Oh, Orange, I got your sunflower seeds. See? If we don't have it, we'll get it at Orange's General Store. The place where there's a place for everything and a thing for, um, every some place? Morning, Orange. Might you have room in your store for some delicious, nutritious, berry bitty fruits and vegetables fresh from my berry own bitty garden? Wow. Um, yeah, uh, sure. Of course. Bring it on. You know, this is a lot of stuff. Can I give you some help making room for it? Oh, no, 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 no. Thank you. I can make room on my own. Well, okay, but if you need any help rearranging... Don't be silly, Strawberry. Organization is my specialty. Okay, bring it in! <gasps> This is not a toy. <laughs> wow! Do you think this 
store with a thing for every place has too many things and not enough places? Looks like Orange could use our help. Every time I ask, she says she's got it under control. Psst. Do you want to see what under control looks like? spare time, I reorganized all my potholders, alphabetized my spices, and now I'm sketching some designs for a bedroom makeover. Orange has got to be swamped. Too bad she won't let us help her. I know. I think she's sensitive about accepting help. She feels it's like admitting she failed. Did she ever come by for breakfast? Nope. I finally had to give away the stack of waffles I'd saved for her. <laughs> At least they didn't go to waste. Poor Orange, she's got to be hungry. It's almost lunchtime. I'm bringing her a sandwich. Least I can do. See you, Lemon. Okay, later. <laughs> Galloping gooseberries. Radishes and rutabagas. Who wanted the radishes and rutabagas? Hey, you know what? Who asked for tomatoes, potatoes, turnips, and... Oh, oh, me, 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 Excuse me. Um, pardon me. Beg your pardon. Oh, excuse me. Wow, is business ever booming? I brought you a sandwich. Thanks, but I can't take a lunch break just now. Papayas and peaches! Who ordered the papayas and... Right here, right here, right here! Wow, you really worked out a great system here. <laughs> Hi. Excuse me, 
Those are for produce only. creative experience, nothing beats painting in a water coloring book. <laughs> Extraordinary talent! You may want to enroll him in an advanced painting class. She'll get upset. Oh, that's just silly. Helping each other is what friends are for. And I have plenty of spare time today. Look how pretty all the vegetables look in these crates. Well, she's got it into her head that the mess came from her store. And if she doesn't clean it herself, Mom thinks she isn't good at running her store. It's not her fault. There isn't enough room for all this stuff in her store. Yeah, what you'd need is a whole other store. Hmm. I smell something. Uh, mangoes? No, an idea. Huh. Hi, Orange. Be right with you. Almost done here. Everything under control. Good, because I desperately need your help with something. What is it, Strawberry? What do you need? Um, it's kind of personal. Do you have five minutes for a cup of tea at the cafe? Um, well, sure, I guess. Um, I'll just close up for a few minutes. Great. Don't worry, I'll have you back in a flash. <laughs> There. Back in a flash. So, I was saying, I need to ask you a favor. Anything? Well, I have this dream of... Custard? No! I said, that's not a toy! This... this dream of opening a side business. Yeah? How fun! Well, what kind of business? Well, that's the trouble. I have nothing to sell. Hmm... So that's where you come in. I was hoping you wouldn't mind if I sold Berrykin Bloom's next Berry Bitty Harvest in a... sort of a... 
produce marketplace. But only if you'd be willing to part with it. A marketplace? What a great idea! <laughs> Wait a minute. Are you doing this for me? Well, I'm, I'm doing it mostly because it would be fun for me. And fun for me, too! Not to have to run my store and sell all those fruits and veggies. I don't know why I didn't let you help me before. I'm so wiped out. Do you think the girls would mind helping me get my store cleaned up? Done! Oh, you are all so sweet! Thank you. You always help us, Orange. Why wouldn't we help you? Well, we all need to help Strawberry. Because she's opening up a new marketplace! We're on it! <laughs> well, looks great, everyone. I think that's enough for one day. I can take it from here. Thank you so much for helping me get started. You're welcome. Sure, no problem. Problem. Anytime. Strawberry. Goodbye. See you tomorrow, Strawberry. Emergency! What is it, Berry Can Bloom? It's my new plant food that shrinks the fruits and veggies to our size. It also shrinks the time from seed to harvest. I've got a new crop coming in only two weeks. Oh, no! This marketplace has to be built in half the time. Girls, come back. We're missing Barry in the know. Oh, forget it. Show's almost over anyway. <gasps> oh, look, it's back up. So remember, fashionistas, just two weeks until the big event. What big event? It's Barry in the know fashion talk show's first fashion contest. Oh, a fashion contest? <laughs> Technology makes this live streaming Barry Net show possible. So our theme is <laughs> technology in fashion. Technology? That's right, technology. So enter today. Until then, this is Mavis Maraschino reminding you to ask yourselves, are you Barry in the know? <laughs> What's the matter? You two are the fashion experts of Berry Bitty City. You definitely have to enter. We know fashion, but technology is not our area of expertise. Now wait, so what if you're techno newbies? I just read a book that says when you're a beginner, anything's possible because you don't know what's impossible. It says right here, above all, you must keep your windows of creativity open. Whoa. <gasps> I think the windows are opening. Where? No, my windows of creativity. I have an idea. Oh, come on, Raspberry. Thanks, Blueberry. Technology and crashing? No, technology and fashion. We have this great idea for a new kind of fashion show. Could you? Oh, I could. Mm. And we want you to be the star. Uh, sorry, girls. I'm a little distracted tonight. Things have been crazy trying to run the cafe and the marketplace. Today was the worst. The marketplace had to run on rutabagas like you wouldn't believe. Maybe you could tell me your idea tomorrow? But this is an unbelievable first for fashion. Here, let me help you. This idea is so, so cutting edge. Let me do that. Brilliant! It's brilliant! Uh. <laughs> You better tell me now. So you want me to be your model in this technology and fashion contest with a video camera in my hair? Exactly! Here, look! You'll be wearing a hair cam that Lemon will make. And a special skirt that Raspberry will make. A skirt that's also a video screen. Whatever the hair cam films, the video screen shows. And what the hair cam films will be you, demonstrating your favorite recipe using the high-tech gadgets in your kitchen. Wow, that's the wildest tech fashion idea I've ever heard of. You should definitely go with it. <laughs> but I just don't see how I'm going to have time to be your model. 
I wouldn't even have time to come to the fittings. Uh, not when I'm running two businesses at the same time. Okay, Raspberry, what do you think we should do with this? Um, Strawberry? What if you only had to worry about one business? Huh? What if we run the cafe for you until the contest? Then you'd have time to be our model. Please, Strawberry? In the name of art and progress. You think you could run the cafe? Well, we do our beginners best. <sighs> okay, we'll give it a try. Okay, <laughs> order of waffles, two smoothies. Oh, who had the island surprise? Uh, what's an island surprise? I guess it's a surprise. <laughs> text? No. Didn't you get my text? Flying Waffles! The cafe! Wait! Do you smell that? Yeah! Smells really good! It's no one's fault, Sour. Things just happen. 
if you had checked the air, maybe things wouldn't have just huh? happened. I would have if you hadn't insisted on doing it yourself, silly. I didn't. But you said you're the only one who knows how. Well, I am. We got flat tires because you wanted to drive through this turnip patch. Strawberry patch! Who's that? Oh, customers! Okay, Sour, customers. Sunshine, sweetness, smiles. I'm smiling on the inside. Good morning. Welcome to Sweet and Sour's food truck. I'm Sweet, she's Sour. We're Sweet and Sour grapes. We're twins. But we're nothing alike. May I offer you my whipped and whirled peach parfait? Well, thank you. Oh, mm. Mm, 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 that's delicious. If you want delicious, stuff your face with my curried cucumber canapé. Oh! Mmm. Enjoy a persimmon hazelnut honey waffle. Chew on this sun-dried tomato and chili crepe. Bite-sized berry brittle. Dice dates a la sour. No! Stop! It's so, so good. good! Which one? It was the dates, wasn't it? I can't make up my mind. But one thing is certain. You girls sure can cook. Lemon, what if we get that? I know we just met, and we barely know you, but how would you like a job? Great! The Barricans are on it. They're gonna take care of the food truck. Do you think this is gonna work? Piece of cake. I'll get them to set up in the cafe while you try your new hair cam on Strawberry. Then you can have her for your skirt fitting this afternoon. Deal! Okay, now don't move. Mm-hmm. And perfect! We are about to make fashion history! <gasps> Good afternoon, miss. Please have a seat. Take your order. Uh, who, who are? No hurry. Take your time to peruse our menu of delicious, delectable, and simply delightful dishes. I'll be back in a jiffy. What'll it be? Uh, someone already. Uh, wait, who? What's with your hair? What? Never mind. Taste can't be learned, but lucky for you, you get to taste one of my, I mean, our specials. Today we have Sweets Banana Butter Squash Bisque. I mean, bisque. Sours, salsify, sunflower salad. Mm, it's a winner. And I don't know why I even mentioned this special. The other chef made it. But <sighs> sweet strawberry fondue. Or I should say fondue. Ew. <laughs> oh, and I highly recommend my spicy ricey jalapeno omelet with peanut butter chutney. Uh... Maybe if I go bake a cake and come back, you'll have made up your mind by then. I'm so sorry. I forgot to tell you the specials. I would recommend the strawberry fondue. That's a real crowd pleaser. Hi, Lemon! Raspberry! to meet Strawberry for a fitting. Aren't you finished yet with her hair? Oh, I'm finished, all right. Finished with my hair cam, finished with technology, finished with this whole contest. What are you talking about? Where's Strawberry? At the marketplace. She said she had to go back to work. Nuh-uh, she's not. I mean, I'm at the marketplace and she's not. Oh, she must have went her other place of business. Hey, was she excited when you told her about the twins? Lemon? I thought you were gonna tell her about the twins. <gasps> A pyramid, oh, I, I never serve pyramids in my cafe. Oh dear. Who are these people? Is there something wrong with your papaya pyramid? Uh, if someone would just tell me what is... I totally understand. You needn't say another word. I'll get you a nice celery sweet swirl, one of my personal specialties. 
strangers who don't seem to like each other very much have taken over my cafe. I don't know who they are. I don't know where they came from. I don't know what's going on, but I'm going to find out. No, 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 no. It's our fault. We sort of, kind of, thought we would, well, we didn't just think. We actually went ahead and hired them. Hired them? Them whom? Whom? Them? Sweet and sour. They're really good chefs. Uh, and they're twins. <laughs> it's too sweet. Sweet. Just give it a taste. It's way too salty. We're making soup, not syrup. <gasps> they don't look so much like twins. I don't think they want to. Uh, let's talk. <laughs> Ladies, I don't know if now's the best time to try new chefs. Especially with the dinner honoring Princess Barrikin tonight. <gasps> the dinner! We'll make sure everything goes smooth as icing. Smooth them! Smoother! Even! I don't know about this. We'll make it work, Strawberry. Are you sure? Promise! Well, okay. Oh, thank you, Strawberry. Thank you. <sighs> I have to go check the marketplace. Then I'll be expecting you back at the salon, Lemon, so you can do something about this. About what? <laughs> oh, that! Sure, of course, no problem. <laughs> oh, what were we thinking? Well, who knew they were so argumentative? No, I mean the contest. I mean everything. Oh, I can't make a hair cam. I can't make a video skirt. <sighs> Whatever gave us the idea we could do this in the first place? Blueberry! Breathe deeply. Let the aromas of nature stimulate your creative energies. Ah, uh, What is that stuff? Fizzleberry and Nostrilla Tickle Bun. They stimulate the sinuses and the senses. Nice, isn't it? Mm -mm, not really. So, let's try a word association exercise to break down the walls of rigid thinking and let those problem-solving creative ideas flow. I'll say a word, and you say the first word that pops into your mind. We'll start with lemon. Here we go. Hairdo. Explosion! Fashion. Failure. Style. Stale. Um, I don't think this is working. Oh, I'm sorry, Blueberry. It's not the exercise. It's me. I'm just in a bad mood. Uh, maybe you better continue without me. Oh, Lemon, don't give up. Everyone gets moody from time to time. <gasps> moody! That's it! I'll do mood nails instead of a hair cam. I'll design nails that change color depending on your mood. Yay! Great idea, Lemon. But then, what do we show on your video screen skirt? I don't know. Could we pre-record something cool and screen that on the skirt? Then it wouldn't have to be live. You know, we wouldn't need a hair cam. Bells and berries, that's it! Any friend fragrance? Um, I mean, scents that bring friendship, harmony, a little peace? I recommend Lemon Verbena and Skittermint. Thanks! Just in case. <laughs> to share a few of my most pleasant memories of our beloved Princess Barrican, a princess who reigns with grace and wisdom. We all remember Sour. when... Sour! Something's burning! <gasps> my cakes! <laughs> oh, great! I'm sorry, Sour. Can I help you make some new ones? Oh? So you can take credit for them, huh? What? Oh, no! Or maybe slip some vinegar into the mix so they'll think your cakes are better than mine. Oh, you're talking nonsense. I'm talking deceit, sweet. Underhanded kitchen tricks from my own sister. <gasps> 
You almost hit me. It was an accident. An accident? I don't believe you. Huh. Well, that was. But this isn't. Uh, uh, my apron. My apron that you stole. Oh, really? Then if you are wearing mine, then you won't mind if I put some of this parsley pop on my apron. You call this a parsley puff? You, you, sous chef? Sous chef? Oh, take that! And quick, play something! <laughs> girls, girls! Breathe, breathe, peace, <laughs> harmony, friendship! I did? Together? Of course not. Mine is the glinty minty sparkle. And I made the creamy carnation rose. Mmm. I've never tasted anything so very delicious. Oh, must be oh, mine. Oh, here, try mine. Mmm. Mmm. It. And they're both great on their own, but mixed together? Oh, wow! <laughs> Divine! Really? You know, if you two created recipes together, your cooking would reach a whole new fantastic level. Us? Cook something together? Well, I guess we could try. Great, because we have some cakes to ice. Come on, I'll help you. Let's alternate each layer with both your cakes and mix your icings. And we'll make one giant cake for Princess Berrykin. Mmm. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have another slice. <laughs> this is the best. If you'll share some of your cooking secrets with me, you can stay. Oh, you can have my old bedroom above the cafe. Really? But you have to try and get along. We may be expert chefs, but I'll admit we aren't expert sisters. <laughs> I'm only asking you to do your best. <sighs> I think we can agree to that. What do you think, Raspberry? Should we give our tech fashions another try? Tech tomorrow. Tonight we eat. <laughs>